So now that we have our GitHub um, app created and we have the client ID and client secret, the next thing to do is actually set up the log login process. And what we need for this is a, to use a strategy and the strategy um, we can get from a package called um, Passport GitHub like this. So the first thing you just want to do here is just install it. So we want to say npm install Passport dash GitHub like this. And that will go ahead and install it for us. So that's the first thing we need to do. And if we click this login with GitHub button right now and we click it, we can see that it says unknown authentication strategy. So we need to set up a GitHub strategy before we can use this button. So just wait for that to install. And you wanna make sure that you require this. So you wanna say let, and all we're requiring from this Passport GitHub is a constructor for a strategy called GitHub strategy. So this is what you want to do. So we'll say um, let GitHub strategy equals require and the package name remember was passport dash GitHub. Um, there we go. And we might need to add yeah, dot strategy on the end because we want to extract the strategy class from this. And then this will allow us to use this method as a constructor like this. I'm just also going to run the refresh command here just so that we have um, all the changes from our terminal be present in our app. And if we look at package.json, we can see that passport GitHub has been installed right here. So to use passport GitHub, remember that um, we've set up the strategy already in passport.authenticate. So now we just have to create the strategy in passport.use. And if you just go to the GitHub page right here, you just wanna copy this um, and fill it in and I'll explain what it all does. So up here, just above your routes, you can paste that in there. And I'm just gonna hit format there. So what this does is it creates a new GitHub strategy using our constructor and tells passport to use it. And then the first argument we give this is an object with some information related to our app. And firstly, we have to give the client ID. And remember that we stored it in process.env.github underscore client underscore ID. So we just wanna load it from there. The second argument is a client secret. And once again, in the last video, we stored it in the environment variables. The third one is a callback URL. And if we look down here, uh, the callback URL that we had was slash auth slash github slash callback. So we want to paste that in here. But um, what we want to do is make sure that we um, give the full URL, not just the path. So we want to put our apps URL in, which is fccgithub.glitch.me in my case. It's whatever um, your, if you click share and then live app, it's whatever that was. So the, there we go. Um, I can get rid of the HTTP part here. So put the full URL in here. Then what we'll have is as a second argument, a callback function once the authentication has taken place. So um, this right here will be where we put our database logic for um, creating a user in our database or you know changing properties but it's important that to understand what this function takes in so it takes in an access token a refresh token which we don't have to worry about we have a profile which is the important thing so this will contain all our data and then we have cb and cb is just a callback function that we can run which gives our data it's kind of like the done function earlier and once we call the callback with the data as our second argument or the document and um, it will then get uh, serialized into a cookie which can then be used for, to deserialize for authentication from then on and what i'm just going to do for now is say console.log and then profile and we'll see what we get back. Um, remember that I've just put in the authenticate method as GitHub right here. And when you create a new GitHub strategy, by default, its name is going to be GitHub. So we're OK here. So let's have a look at what happens now. So if I open the logs and just clear this, and I'm just going to refresh this. And if we click login with GitHub, we can see that we've taken to the GitHub login form. 
And um, the app name that we set up when we created our um, app is shown here. If we had a logo, it would be shown there as well. And also it will show the description if we created that. And it also tells you what data is going to be accessed by the um, you uh, by the app. And since this is just authentication, it's just the public data, like your email, for example. And we can just click authorize here. Um, normally you'd be asked to sign in through GitHub, but this is okay. So if I click authorized, I'll get redirected to the callback route. And if we look here, we can see that we have um, the profile ID right here. Um, I hope this doesn't expose any of my um, details. So we have all the information that GitHub has provided right here. And um, I'll show you how this works. I think that should be everything for this challenge. So let's try submitting it first before I try and explain it like I know what I'm doing. So let's submit this and see what happens. So the last test is failing, so I just have to double check that. Okay, so I just figured out why it was failing me, and it's for the honestly for the most dumbest reason ever. Basically, I put this in a new line here, and if I just move it up to here, and then I submit it, what you'll see is that the tests actually pass. So it's so stupid. It literally failed me because I put, to put this onto a new line. But okay, so um, we'll see that we have, it says site didn't, just didn't respond. And that's because we don't have anything set up in this callback function. But if we looked at the uh, logs, we could see that the profile information was made um, available right here. So again, I'll, I'll walk you through what happens here. So when it goes to the root, um, hang on, when it goes to slash or slash GitHub, it will run this strategy right here. And it'll realize that the route that we put in is not the callback URL. So what Passport will do is it'll redirect to the GitHub login to sign in. And once we've signed in, um, GitHub will then um, route to this path right here. And um, what happens then is that we can see that we have this authentication code added right here. Um, so it's, that gets added as a query. And then Passport will realize now that we're working with our callback URL, and then it will run whatever function is in here. And the way it obtains the rest of the profile details is from that um, from the that uh, key, the, the code right here. It can use Git, ask, ask GitHub to get all the information it needs. And then what we've just done right here is we've just logged the profile that we can have access to in this callback function. And that's um, created all this information right here. So that's essentially how we have done this. So again, that should be everything you need to do. Just be careful with this one line thing and you can go ahead and submit that.